Hey guys, today I want to show you how to install new sounds to your Digitone. Uh, actually, the Digitone is different from the Digitex, so you cannot install samples like WAV files to it, but you do can install another kind of file that it's called CSEX. This kind of file uh, it's very common in old uh, synthesizers like the DX7, for example. It's kind of a mid message. So the first thing you gotta do is go to the Electron web page and download uh, their transfer software. So you go to the download page. So after you download that, you are gonna have this software installed in your computer. Um, so uh, for sounds, you can go to the Electron web page too. And uh, in this area, sound packs, you can choose your gear and you have a lot of sounds that you can buy it but uh, you have a lot of sounds for free too not a lot but here i see one and then you can download this one after you download it you're gonna see a file like that so this file you gotta drag into the software but first we have to see the digitone here right and we don't see it right now although i have uh, connected to the, my computer with a uh, normal uh, USB cable. So everything is right, but I have to change one config configuration in the Digitone that I'm gonna show you right now. So now that I'm in the Digitone, sorry guys, but I know my angle is not the best here, but I'll try uh, to say what I'm actually hitting. Now I'm gonna go to save project and here I have uh, the last option is going to be system and I want to go hit yes to the system. So here I have my first option is USB config. I want to go to this menu. Usually I'm using Digitone with my uh, logic and I use uh, overbridge so it has to be checked. But uh, now for transfer you're going to hit uh, USB MIDI. and just remember you have to go back to overbridge otherwise not gonna work uh, with uh, overbridge right so remember to check it back uh, later all right so now let's see i do see my electron here so i want to choose for both in and out and i'm gonna hit connect so the next step will be to choose the bank you want to receive those sounds in the digitone for that, you want to go to the Save Project menu and here you're going to choose uh, SciSex Dump, hit Yes, SciSex Receive, Yes, and here you have those three options. Uh, you want to go to the last one, Sounds, hit Yes, and now you see you have eight banks here and this number aside of the bank means how many sound slot you have empty. So uh, bank A and B are used for store the factory preset from, from Electrum. So they are actually full. We have a zero space in there. I don't want to install my library like over this pre preset. So I'm going to choose one that is available. Actually bank C, I have installed some sounds there, but I'm still, I still have space. So I'm going to choose this one and hit yes. So now you see uh, he's waiting for data. That's when you want to drop your file to the transfer software and you're going to receive a message here saying it's already uh, received. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is how to access those sounds. So you just have to go to the sound menu, sound browser, and here you have access to those banks. You can see uh, then the letter actually uh, A, B and C for the banks but like actually a quick way to access them is just hitting uh, bank and then hitting a uh, number so number 9 will be associated with uh, bank A uh, 10 will be B and 11 will be C and so go on so if you just want to go quick to the to this bank you just uh, gotta hit uh, bank and the number so just remember after that you gotta deselect it 
and make everyone lit so you make sure you can see all the banks um, in here, right?